Welcome back, everyone. It's time now for a new segment where we decide to fill you in and actually fill each other in on some of the stories that have people talking this week. It's simply called, Have, have You heard? heard? Unbelievable. <laughs> I love that graphic. It's so good. <laughs> Wait, now you're going to end up, Have You Heard? heard? Okay, that was well, how the way. How do you want me to go? Ha okay, we're going to practice okay. that for next week because I got low it. and you went high yes. and I just want to. Okay, so let's get started. Have you heard? <laughs> have you? Mm. That happy kids make you happy, but there's mm. a catch. Researchers found parents are happier than non parents, but that the happiness only kicks in once the kids grow mm. up and grow out. And by grow out, I mean out of your house. Well, the researchers say people whose adult children move out like having that social support and their kids around to take care of them, but they like getting that without the stress of having those kids living under their roof. Yeah, the study also found that having your adult children living with you can actually have a negative effect on your well-being. Now, have you heard of this from any of your friends? Um, you know, have you heard about this or read stories about it? We want to hear from you. And actually, we do have a few comments that uh, Trent was lovely enough to print out. Jay Monty says, it was wonderful watching our daughter grow up, and now we're enjoying her young children. Yes, I love that. Um, another person said, uh, AMC, I'm 49. I'm happily child-free, never wanted kids and glad I don't have any except the fur kind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. way to go to each his own. Uh, da Mama on Twitter. Good Twitter says, handle. Yeah, I like that. We moved and they found us anyway. <laughs> Just for the meals. <laughs> um, it's funny. Obviously, I people without children or I feel like have few less stressors. Yeah. Like the second woman said, AMC. That makes sense to me. Um, I enjoy my kids, but there are many nights where I'm like, you know, it'd be nice if I could just do whatever I want. Yes, ex exactly what she said. Yes. Now, 100%, this makes sense to me. Um, when you are in the thick of it and whatever that is, you know, whether you're dealing with the sure. toddlers and, you know, when he was crawling out of the crib up to now, me and his hormonal sassiness, it does impact your life, your everyday life struggles, right. your marriage. So I can definitely see uh, my friends, I have a dear cousin mm -hmm. who, by the way, is the most thoughtful. She sends my kids gifts for everything. She just chose not to have them. Yeah. Man, Stephanie lives a life of Riley. <laughs> she is traveling. <laughs> right. They do all sorts of things. Yeah. So um, I, I can see that. Yeah. I can see it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything, no, but I, I also wouldn't. think it's very valid that women and men who choose not to have kids, that that is awesome too. It's yeah, all great. It's all exactly. good. Whatever it's, you choose for yourself. Exactly. And I'm glad at the person AMC who uh, weighed in on that. Yeah. Exactly right. That was her decision and nobody should get involved yeah, yeah. in that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. speaking of kids, have you heard about the mom who's facing backlash? <sighs> she is charging people that. to go to her son's birthday party. Now moms out there and Kara, you know, these parties sometimes are not cheap. Okay, but how, this is, I mean, this is crazy to me. A woman shared her outrage after finding out her invitation came with an invoice of $82. Let me break that down for you. It was $59 for go-karts and $23 for transportation to and from the track. She also asked people to bring a lunch while you're at it. Um, what Wait would you a minute! Do if this I miss, happened to you. I misread this, and I thought it said she asked people what they wanted for no, lunch. No, no, she charged them <laughs> she to attend gonna, their party. Me. I'm like, well, that was a nice way to get. She charged them to attend the party, and they have to bring their own lunch. No, yeah. I mean we have talked about this on Real Talk what? that the kids birthdays can get out of control sure. and sometimes I think the parents are doing it for themselves right or for the Instagram um, you know perfect party post but quite frankly if you can't afford it yeah then do, then I don't absolutely this lady's don't like we're going should. to Disney World y'all owe me three hundred and fifty dollars I mean yeah, when no. you just shoot for the stars then if you want right, to do it right I would have been livid if I would. I mean, you throw a party so people can come and enjoy it. You know how expensive it's going to be. Yes. And that's your prerogative. You don't ask the people that are coming to your party to no, pay for it. That, that is crazy. It's, yeah. it's, again, if you can't afford it, then do something. You know, the park. Um, the, oh, thank you for reminding me of comments. Yes. I, I was mad about that. Um, okay, James says, hmm. I don't imagine anyone would go. Mike. 
Okay, I agree with you. Mike says it's okay not to attend, and also okay if you do attend to not give the kid anything, seeing how you've already <laughs> yes. paid for the party. Listen, yes, also, Mike. Also, James, good. Like, well, James, that's a good point because was it after? Like, did you say you were going to go and then you got the invoice, or was it clearly stated on the Eva? I'm sure she didn't Eva. <laughs> she wouldn't send a paper invitation. Right. Well, um, I didn't send a paper for Caroline's. Yeah. This well, weekend. that's smart. No, that's well, smart actually because, because one time. time I was like, I'm going to do paper because it's so nice, and then I was like, Why did I do paper? I can't keep track of anything. I, it's I, much I smart. Well, anyway. Don't listen to me. Uh, but that. early on, of course, the parties, yeah, the yes. paper. You do, but Evites, whatever the case was, I mean, that's crazy. And Donna said, no way. It is showing your child that the value is not in the company of your friends having fun together, but valuing them only by what yes. they can afford to give you. And 80-some dollars. No. This blows my mind. It blows my okay. mind. Let's have her on the show. I want to get in there and figure out what's going on. I would, yes, frame. I want to figure that out. Let's okay. Okay, Haley, let's track down who she is. <laughs> She's like the woman's watching right now going, God, I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> okay, someone else that does make us happy, mm -hmm. lower electric bills. All right, but are you willing? We talked about this. We did. We care about. We did. Are you willing to adjust? your thermostat to the recommended temperature to really see those but god my lashes are so big they're <laughs> you're right oh, really, look, you look I stunning. see okay so <laughs> this this is a hot topic it is it is hot well it's a it hot is debate. it's a hot topic on social media everybody's been weighing in on it on twitter in my household so the epa program that promotes energy efficiency says that your thermostat should be set to get this 78 degrees when you're home, 85 when you're not, Whoa. and 82 no. at night. Oh, wait, that was way, yeah. those numbers mm -hmm. were not what we were discussing. We, d we discussed the 78, but we didn't have the, the at night and when you're away. Now, I will tell you, we keep it on 68 at night. So do we. we so do we. Uh, we I keep know, it's it. crazy. We like all the covers. I sleep now when I first started dating Jim I'm not gonna lie uh -huh. not that I was sleeping in the same bed with him when I first got <laughs> married to Jim I <laughs> correction side, side note excuse me I what I was I, it was gonna be a deal breaker yeah I was like I can't we have different sure I can't do this I'm freezing and then I started noticing mm. I was sleeping better oh. and babies sleep better when it's colder too yeah they do yes 70 um, I think too is what it's recommended for me we are also at 68 in our household I don't like it that cold like I don't like to be shocked like when I come in and out I don't like to be hot and then you're cold and then I feel um, like I'm getting ill right but my husband I told my husband that the 78 should be the proper way and he was like no he's like that's ridiculous and 85 mm -hmm. when you're asleep that's just not that's just you're going to be tossing and turning and sweating yeah. i don't know what you guys want to say craig said that is crazy all right craig uh, my grandparents house was a yep. 78 and it drove me insane yep me all too. right orange neck said they also have to sleep with mosquito nets what? and take malaria meds. <laughs> right. Okay. Thank All right. You. Tony is a little bit closer. Tony sleeps with his at 70, but they have the fans on. Yeah. That's not even that much closer. It's just like in the 70s, so I felt excited yeah. about it. Um, and E.C. Cribbin says I'd regularly skip meals to save money, money before I set my air at 82. What is going on yes, at the Department e. of Crippen. Energy? E.C. Crippen, I agree with you. We had somebody, though, that left after we talked about it on Care About, and she said that she does keep her house at 78 and her electric bill is only $90 a month.